Okay, so again, if you are a uh, qualified instructor and you're following along with the lessons, or if you are a uh, regular student and you're using a qualified instructor to follow through uh, with these uh, with this stuff, or if you're just uh, following along for educational purposes to uh, add to a class or something like that, now would be the time to read uh, to get a copy of Don Pentecost's book. Uh, put them down, take them out. Knife fighting techniques from Folsom Prison. Get a copy of that and read it uh, from the front cover to the back cover. You want to do this uh, definitely before we get on to lesson six, because at that point we're going to look at the uh, full Folsom attack, and uh, we need to be able to throw the full Folsom attack in a realistic, effective, uh, dynamic, uh, devastating manner so that we can then defend the actual Folsom prison attack. I mean, if you're out there teaching people to defend the Folsom prison attack, and you haven't read Don Pentecost's uh, text and practiced it to where you have become uh, proficient with the attack, then what are you teaching your students to defend? Something that you think is the Folsom attack? Something that looks like the Folsom attack? No, you need them to defend the Folsom style attack. So you need to, uh, take a step back and uh, learn something new. It would be good for you anyway. It's always good to learn something new. So again, when you read the book, read it from the front cover, everything on the front cover. Open the page. Read everything over here. Read the next one. Turn the page. Read everything. Read the whole book. Don't think like, I'm going to read the parts I want. I'm going to interpret the way I want. No. Empty your cup of tea. Set it down and start filling the cup up with what Don Pentecost is saying. You might not agree with everything he says. I don't agree with everything he says. We're going through the text and there were four or five times while we're reading through the first two chapters where I have to say, you know, except maybe sometimes, you know, Don is uh, is definitely, what I want to say, very opinionated in what he believes. And that's good. I mean, again, his perspective is different than mine. And especially in writing the book, you know, he's writing it uh, from the perspective of somebody who's doing hard time at Folsom Prison. You know, when you're outside of Folsom Prison, things are a little different. You know, I'm, I'm never gonna say a guy who spent, you know, six years of his life to obtain his uh, second degree black belt did nothing. I mean, it was definitely a lot better than nothing, okay? It was a whole lot better than nothing. It depends on how much martial he was and how much artist he was. I mean, I've, I've seen guys who are fifth, sixth degree black belts, who are nothing but artists. I mean, you know, they might as well study freaking ballet because what they have in their toolbox is not gonna do anything for them out on the street. Now, should I should I step back on that a second and say, well, maybe it will do something on the street, you know, as long as they're fighting a guy who has less than they do. I mean, you know, are you gonna be able to beat up somebody who's never been in a fight because you've been an artist studying uh, martial type stuff? for six years or eight years or 12 years of your life, yeah, you're gonna be a step above that guy. So anything is better than nothing. That's my point. Uh, whereas Don, you know, is of the point that, you know, everything just needs to be written off if you're a martial artist. You know? I don't agree with that. And there's a couple other things I don't agree with. Again, that, you know, the assassination attempt is the, uh, is the uh, more likely type of attack that you're gonna see. No, much more likely you're going to, as a civilian, uh, be susceptible or you're more likely to see a, uh, a threat display than you ever are to see a, uh, a uh, assassination attempt. Uh, so, you know, it's two different worlds, that's all. But again, read the book, be unbiased, understand where he's coming from, and just try to absorb whatever you can from that book. It's an excellent text. It's an excellent text. And it, again, it's a perspective that a lot of martial artists never see. So, you know, it's going to open your world a little bit to what the other side is thinking. And the other side being the kind of guy that you're probably going to see walking up to your car at zero dark 30 while you're the only guy in the parking lot. So, you know, know your enemy. And uh, that's all we got. Uh, next lesson or next class of this lesson four, we're going to be looking at, again, finishing up that customizable defense. And... Uh, from there, then we're going to get more offensive when we get to lesson five. All right, thanks for watching.